Hey, Kim Darwaza here, your Northern Virginia Realtor with Remax Executives. And for today's question of the day, it is why wouldn't I just be a FISBO, which is a for sale by owner? So I get calls from people and you know they ask if they should FISBO or they ask me if they should get their real estate license so they can buy or sell their own property or buy an investment property. And I think the one thing I wanna stress is you don't even know what you don't know. And we live in a very litigious society and area, so just keep that in mind. It's not, I'm not saying you couldn't. A lot of people are FISBOs because they just, they need to move and they don't have much equity in the property. So they feel like they're gonna save the fees where you know if a buyer comes and buys their house, they're gonna be like, well, you're not listed with an agent, so we've like a 3% or 4% or whatever reduction in, in price because we know you're not using an agent. So they're fully aware of that and that's pretty much the first thing that comes out of their mouth. So that's one thing. Um, some people just don't wanna use realtors because they don't think we provide any value and they think they'll make more money, which, Obviously, I don't agree with, but whatever. So the top things you need to do to um, sell your home yourself, if you absolutely have to, is price. The price is the most important thing. A lot of FISBOs feel like they can overprice their property for whatever reason. They live in some delusional world where they think whatever's going on um, doesn't apply to them and also you know you can I tell my clients all the time you can you can ask whatever you want to um, for your house but it may not appraise so you'd have to renegotiate your your price in most cases unless you got lucky enough that someone waived their appraisal contingency so I do see a lot of overpriced FISBOs there's also this thing on Zillow that says make me move and people put these like ridiculous prices out. So anyways, number two is great listing photos. And I've said this before in other videos, I've taken over listings, even in this market where people, agents took pictures of their cell phone and they're not getting any showings because the photos are dark. So it's really important that you hire a professional photographer, not use your cell phone. And also floor plans. People like to see floor plans. I have a person who comes out and, and does all the floor plans for my, my listings and videos. Walkthrough ver uh, videos are very important, especially in this time of COVID, and people like to see that. And they, there's always been the statistic that in MLS, your property gets viewed at a much higher percentage the more photos you have, because then it's like you're not trying to hide something. So uh, that's also important too. Disclosures, and this gets back to the, you don't even know what you don't know. So there are certain disclosures you have to have if your house is built prior to 78 for lead-based paint. There's property disclosures, and if you don't provide them to the purchaser, they can just walk three days, you know. So you get to closing and you haven't given that disclosure, and then they decide they don't want to buy the house because they found something else. They're just going to walk, and you got to start over. HOA and condo docs also are a requirement, so you have to get those and provide them to the buyer. Now, if, if they don't ask for them, that's one thing, like they have up until closing to ask for the HOA docs, but if they, if they don't ask for them, then it's not your problem once the house closes. So, and a lot of times there's violations and them especially, we you know, 90% of the houses I sell are in HOAs, so uh, you, the, those violations go with the property. So if you buy it and you don't get the HOA docs, then that's that's on you. So, um, and I've just found out, found with like FISBOs too, from what I've heard, because I've actually listed properties that were, were FISBOs and I've asked the, the people, okay, you did a FISBO for a while, why are you now switching to an agent? And the people basically said that they were treated like their house was a garage sale. So when you have those kind of, you have the bottom feeders, um, you have investors looking for good deals, you have people with bad credit looking maybe for seller financing, 
You have people looking to lease with an option to purchase. So that's just some of the feedback that I received from people who started out as a FISBO and then um, wound up listing with me in the long run. So those are things to think about. Um, you have to be available for all the showings too. You have to let the people in the house. I wouldn't let someone in my house that wasn't with an agent. So if you, you, you can't really leave and people wanna come at all different times and you have to be there and then it's better. I always say it's better not to be there during a show, an agent showing, but you wouldn't wanna leave some random person in your house who knows what they would steal or whatever. But I find that, and I've had clients do this, is they stay there during the showing and then they start talking about stuff in the house that they love, which is an absolute turn off to other people. So you just really have to be, be careful of that as well. And then um, homes listed by a realtor sell for 9% more on average than properties that are for sale by owner, which would cover your commission costs anyway. Uh, and then going back to the, again, you don't even know what you don't know things. Um, we have protected classes in Virginia, and even if you're not listed with an agent, um, there's protect, like race, religion, gender, color, uh, national origin, and now sexual orientation, gender, gen gender identity, um, source of income, veteran status, they all become protected classes. And, you know, especially with the environment we're living in today, if you take, you have four contracts, or let's say three or whatever, and you take a contract from someone because they're white or something like that, and these other ones are better, um, you know, you can have a real problem. Um, you know, you can have a real problem. So you just have to really be, be like, uh, you can't say I'm not taking a contract because it's 100% financing or I'm not taking a contract because it's VHDA financing, like 100% financing would be a veteran, like, or someone who's in the service. Normal people can't really, you know, everyday people can't um, get those. If you're living off social security, your public assistance, you can't, if they can, if they have the funds to close and they have a lender letter, then it's a valid contract. So even being an agent for 16 years, I mean, I still have to ask questions to our, um, we have an attorney through the Northern Virginia Association of Realtors and I'll ask questions uh, to them regarding things because the markets change, the laws change all the time. And so we, I'm constantly, you know, we get new contract updates in July and January of every year, and I'm going to these classes to figure out what I need to know so I don't lose my license because some laws changed that I did not educate myself on. So uh, let's see. Yeah, so like I said, you don't even know what you don't know. Uh, so it's just one of those things, very litigious society. If you don't disclose certain things and they happen after closing, it's a lawsuit waiting to happen. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment or, you know, direct message me or call or text me. And I post all these videos on my YouTube channel. So I'd love for you to subscribe so that you can see all the content. I'm gonna do buyer series, seller series, first time home buyer series. So if you have children or friends that are first time home buyers, um, they can do, I know that millennials and a lot of these people like to educate themselves online before they start shopping. So I'm gonna make those um, videos available so please and I'm going to try to organize them so they're easier to to see so yeah so my YouTube channel is um, I think it's Kim Darwaza Realtor